Welcome back to Living Shadow Terrell. How is it? I hope you're doing well. Ooh, excuse me. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well out there. Okay, you guys. So, this is going to be a reading for Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus? I hope I'm... I always feel like I'm saying... I, I, well, I shouldn't say I should always. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I was about to pronounce it and everything. But Ophiuchus. For those who don't know, Ophiuchus is a fire sign. If I run out, that's a, that's a sign, a new fire sign, not tainted. So, oh, here we go. Page of Cups, first card out here. Some kind of message, maybe an apology. There's been lots of apologies coming around for different things and people. I feel like people are maturing in general, and so they're learning things. But one thing I like about this opiocus is that I feel like it is a more mature sign or more mature energy for a fire sign energy. It is a healer. So for those people who don't know, it is a healing um, energy, healing sign. Um, so it maybe it's like a, a, there's a maturity there for that that, it, you know, is lacking. It, 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 you know, it is the, one of the last ones in the fire signs. You have ten of swords. So we have this tennis source here. So is there an apology not being accepted or is someone trying to apologize for stabbing you in the back? I feel like someone's trying to apologize for stabbing you in the back with this tennis source here. Or for being like for being backstabbing. What is this about? Give me some more information, please. What is this about? Oh, feel this. Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah. Someone kind of stabbed you in the back for being blunt. For being really, like, speaking your mind. It's just, like, clearing the air. Um, this could either be you have done this, or you need to apologize to somebody, or somebody's apologizing to you. We're going to see here in a second, but what's going on? Lots of people have just been saying things lately. King of Wands. Okay, this is this would be your energy, I feel like. This is the more the fiery energy, the more healing fire energy. It's like you're trying to warm up like an ice queen. Yeah, we got King of Cups and Six of Swords. Emotional conversations. So you may not have had the best emotional conversation with somebody. They may be step backstabbing you every time you try to like um say your emotions or Get them out of the get your feelings out. What is this? Is this that friend of me that we had um in the couple readings ago for you guys? Ophiuchus. Yeah, the lovers. This is a lover here, or uh, somebody that you are choosing like to be intimate with or wanting to be intimate with. Okay, what about this lover's card? What's the intimacy here? I feel like you want to, like, display something or show something. Give me more, more, more. I want to know what is going on. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. Tell me, is it real, real, real? Tell me how you feel. I'll feel cuz. Queen of Cups, yeah. So, this is King and Queen of Cups energy together. We have King of Cups, Six of Swords, the Lovers, and the Queen of Cups, right? This, this is begging for a feminine energy. Choosing a feminine energy. Like, asking for a feminine energy, right? This someone like, maybe apologizing for not understanding the complexities of feminine energy. I'm kind of getting that as well. Like, they've been backstabbing. This is like... So, this is like King of Right. It's like, okay, this person was dealing with, like, a Queen of Swords. An icy person or somebody who was, like, stood strong in their power and knew who they were. Um, uh, Somebody here was that person. This is other person. This is King of Wands energy. This... Confident, strong energy, right? I'm confident, egotistical. I know everything, blah, blah, blah. You and guy that hard. You know how, like, um, have you ever seen, like, the cartoon episodes, the TV episodes, 
where um they swap switcheroo and it's like the the like the the husband and wife like switch places or whatever or do like the husband is like the stay at home wife for a day and the wife is like the stay at home or like the working woman or you know and like the breadwinner for a day in the older TV shows. It's kind of like that. Where it's like and it's, <laughs> the table moves so it keeps jiggling, y'all. So jiggle jiggle. Um it's like someone wants to apologize because they didn't realize how hard the opposite role was. I'm getting it's more of the masculine energy wanting to apologize to feminine energy in a sense. It's like they didn't know how hard the the their role was or like what their job was. So like say you're you know, like if you are married, right? It's like you have to stay at home with the kids or something. And like the like it's like this is the male who normally is like breadwinner out there working, you know, whatever job they work and now they they swap places so they stay at home with the kids for like a month or so. And they're like realizing that this shit is not easy or like you know, that's a lot of work to stay, like, being a stay-at-home mom. Or it's a lot of work to stay in the home, trying to keep the house clean, work on the kids. This is that, like, it's, like, understanding that, like, I don't know, like, where someone may have thought someone was lazy. This is giving me the energy of where someone may have thought someone was lazy and didn't do anything. Now they're realizing just how much gets done or how much that they do. Because before they didn't think they did anything. It's giving me that. Real deep of that. And, like, an apology for that. Or, like, backstabbing. Someone may have been talking shit behind somebody's back. Um, for that, or like, you know, this could be like a husband who was saying like their wife is lazy, they don't do anything, and now they're supposed to do what their wife was doing, and they're like, oh, fuck this, this is too fucking hard. Ace of Wands. Download new passion here. This is like, let me see. What's coming up here? Yeah, that's what it's giving me. This is what this energy is giving me. Like, you chose, and it's like, this is the energy of, like, someone did this to this person. And... Let me see what else is coming up here. It's like someone did this to this person, and they, like, pissed off this person. And now this person, like, wants to apologize and want this person back. But this other person's like, no, you get to sit in it, sit in it for a while. Like, this Ace of Wands to me is giving me the download that they're realizing now that they're... They ha they still have a lot more to learn still. Like they they like you know what I mean? Like they just like if it's been a if uh oh, blah 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 blah. If this is like a husband and wife thing, it's like where you know, like the wife has been doing something for like I don't know, like they say the wife's been doing something for like fifteen years, fifteen, twenty years, and the husband is like doing it for like maybe like 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> you know, or like a, or like a month or two, and they're like, oh, this is so hard, and, and the wife's like, no, you still got, you got to make it like a couple years doing this, I don't want to give up and be the stay-at-home mom again, like, that life was, I, I did that life, I don't want to do that again, it's kind of like that, so, it's like a back and forth kind of spat thing, we have the seven of cups, the ace of swords, and the justice card. So it's like the truth is someone's looking for a lot of different options or confused about how to balance this out. But like they're looking for different options on how to balance it out and trying to get different. Or, and, and they're kind of confused about how to balance it out as well. It's like, because I feel like this masculine energy, this king of wands energy, who normally like, you know, like normally like the breadwinner guy, right? The breadwinner, like it's like, okay, if we're talking about old family dynamics, where it's like, usually it was like the guy who went to work and the woman who stayed home and took care of the kids, right? It's like, it's like flip backwards for whoever this household or whatever this energy is right now. It's kind of like that type of thing where it's flipped backwards, where the woman is the one working at, you know, out there working and being the breadwinner and breadwinner, excuse me, and the husband's at home, right? And the husband's like, I don't know how to do this shit, blah, 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 like, I don't know how to work this out. And they want to, like, apologize because they talked a lot of shit about their wife or whatever for doing this before. Like, oh, you just stayed at home and you ain't doing nothing. Really, it's not that hard. Try going to work. And so now they don't, they're, like, they're suffering. And they it's like an ego thing. It's like they're suffering and they don't want to, like, admit that they're, you know, they're the ones who are having a rougher time doing the stay-at-home, stay-at-home dad life or something versus their... Um, Versus their wife or counterpart or 
It's like, I choose you. I choose you. I'm sorry. I should have never talked shit about you. I should have never stabbed you in the back like that. And the wife is like, or like the wife or girlfriend or baby mama or whatever is like, uh, yo, uh, <laughs> you got a long time to go, honey. I did this for years. You only been doing this for like a, like a couple months. Like it has not been that long. Get a tower at the bottom of the deck and nine of swords. So this nine of swords is giving me that this person's like sitting there like, what do I do? What do I do? Like they're in a panic mode. But this is like, this is why I say ego for the king of wands, egotistical. This to me is like wimp stuff. I don't mean to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Like you're like calling guys wimpy or whatever. But this to me is wimpy where it's like, okay, so like say someone was doing something Let's say the situation that we're talking about here, say it's kind of like dynamic has happened for years, right? It's like the first, maybe not even the first full year of the guy being the stay-at-home dad or whatever. He's like, I can't do this, I can't do this, and he's so depressed. It's like, but how many times has the wife been like that, you know? And I, I feel like she's like, you know, you still have a lot of different things. You have to find something to do because I've been like this for a while, for a while. Or the feminine energy here has been like this for a while. Where they've had to go through a whole bunch of stuff. And so it's like, it's maybe new to this other person. But it's like, you still kind of got to go through it though. Because you're not going to learn from it if you don't, in a sense. But it's like, you, I get that you maybe you need help. What we got? Queen of Pentacles. And it could be, maybe this could be like flashbacks of their mother. Or not really sure how to be like... Maybe their mother didn't teach them how to be a dad, you know? Or it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Or like, you're used to like this person being like, I don't know, you guys may have been used to like a gender role or something. I, I don't know what this is like. This is like giving me an energy of like, they don't know how to be, or it's maybe express their femininity, you know? Like we, we as society, people have tended to Except more fe females or feminine, uh, like female people, biologically female people, exuding more of a masculine energy. But it, they seem to have always had an issue with a person who is, uh, you know, uh, biologically born male expressing feminine energy. It seems to be like a big, that's been like a big thing. And I feel like this is, this is like that thing of like, of course, you know, females have, uh, have, have had issues with that before, but as far as for like, I would say it's like, it's, it's not easy just to, you know, exude a, a different energy that's different from your biological um, makeup as far as for a lot of these people who get really, really judgy. But this is that like, not stable with this Queen of Pentacles. Like... This is like nine of swords, queen of pentacles. This is like, how do I stabilize this? Or how do I like stay in this energy that I need to be in? Or how do I like continuously to be nurturing? You know, like if this is like a boss person, like they're used to like yelling at their employees or something, or they're used to like not being so gentle. And it's like, they, they need to be gentle with their kids or something. This is, this is what this is giving me. Like, okay, so I'm not used to being gentle with people. I need to be gentle with people. How the fuck do I do that? Like... I'm not a gentle person. I've gotten, I've gotten where I've gotten to by being hard and abrasive and mean and rude. You know that King of Wands energy. Like I've got, like I've gotten there by like stomping on people, being, you know, demanding things. This is that, and it's like I can't demand things from my children because they're kids, or I can't demand things from babies, or I don't have anybody to boss around. And I have to be the one doing it by myself. Like there's nobody to like. You know, I can't delegate these tasks off to another person. Like, I can't delegate the dishes off because my kids are too young to do dishes or something. It's like, it's like that type of thing. It's really, the, it's, it's like, it's, I don't, it's like someone feels like they got put in a box. But this is the box that, like, the wife or the feminine energy felt like they were in for a, for a while. So, it's like this person's just not able to handle the box that they put their own wife in. That they, that they traded places or something. We have the Devil, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, the Devil, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, which is like Water Principality. This is like... Ophelius, or oh, Ophiochus, excuse me. This is like... You find that...
Whoa, okay, I heard a whole bunch of stuff when this came out. Sorry, you guys. Give me a second. That was a lot. The Devil, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. This, to me, is, is like seeing how emotionally downtrodden someone can be. Or like emotionally manipulated. Over a long period of time. Okay, and now they're coming in deep. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna finish this up real fast and then because I don't understand why they're changing things up like this on me. Oh goodness. I'll get a shadow spell. Get you out of hell. Oh my goodness. The devil seven of pentacles and nine of cups. Whatever that is. Because I wanted to figure out what it was. And I got a barrage with a whole bunch of different things. So uh, I guess I won't be able to tell you all. I'm sorry. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video. Do check out the other videos on my channel. Let me shout out to Ro. Let me shout out to Ro. Check out the other videos on my channel. So three shadow spells popped out. I have full control over the way I live my life. You can pick these up on the livingshadow.me and the tarot deck section on my website. I am a master manifester. I manifest effortlessly. And I am choosing to think positively. So um, if you are this person, I really do get like you're having a, a very a tough issue with like expressing yourself. Whether you're Ophiochus or the person dealing with Ophiochus or dealing with this energy. I do feel like you have a tough time expressing yourself. Um, but do recognize you have control over the way you live your life. And think positively about, uh, positively about self-expression. You may need to get uh, lapis lazuli. That does help with self-expression with throat chakra. Um, you, you know, I think I've, I still should have some of those left. Um, in my site, click the link in the description box below for the living shower. That means to go pick that up if you want to get that. But just, I don't know, do your best to just try and like soldier it on through. Because, like, if someone's gonna have to do something, and it feels like you may be stuck in this for a minute until you can find a some kind of balanced solution here with this justice and the seven of cups. I do want to thank you all for watching. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. And remember that we are the assassination. Bye.